Mike has a question. Is it possible to give my stuff away before the man gets his piece and divides up my assets? Is there a way to circumvent Ottawa? You know, that's a very good question. And part of estate planning and part of what estate planners do is figure out the best way to transfer your assets so that there is less going to the government. And yeah, that is possible. There are some things you need to be aware of in 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 terms of it needs to be formally documented. So it needs to be documented that you are gifting something to someone so that they don't get slapped with capital gains tax, which is, you know, when you when you leave something to someone, let's say you have a family cabin and you're leaving it to to your your offspring, they're going to get dinged with taxes. I mean, death and taxes are and change are all inevitable. So somebody is going to get taxed for it. How you transfer goods to from yourself to someone else defers the taxes in different ways. It doesn't make them go away. It just defers them. Uh, for the if the CRA is listening, I just want to say that was Mike's question, not my <laughs> question. <laughs> I am a tax abiding Canadian, um, but I also like that information. Yeah. All right. Do you have anything else to say before I go to my next line of questioning? There is, a, there is a small caveat, a small warning with that. If you start giving things away willy-nilly because you're in the throes of, of dying, um, that can come back to bite the recipient in the butt if it's not documented and it's not formally, the transfer isn't formal. Because one of the roles of the executor is to gather the, um, the assets and evaluate the assets of the estate. And if that's those gifts or, or those transfers are not documented properly, then they might actually have to be clawed back. And that would be really awful. So document, document, document. Okay, so Mike, if you come bearing gifts, I want you to have like a, a, a letter with it as well, man. We'll get it in 4K. Thank you, thank you, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, I'll do the same for you. Yeah. All right, I, did, I do have a, a question, one more question because we're not trying to just get a bunch of free advice from you. I actually want to hear about your business. I do have one more question. You had mentioned if there were um, previous relationships. So let's say someone has gone through a divorce and there wasn't a, a pre-existing will or anything like that. So someone has a new partner and a brand and, and, and a will, and they had never had a will before, and they're properly divorced from a, from a former spouse. Can a, a former partner make any claim on your current partners, what would be in that will if there was not a pre-existing will before that? Oh, you got the tough question. So so here's the thing. There's always going to be, by the way, I'm not giving anybody legal advice. Uh, I'm not a professional. I'm not a lawyer. Um, but m the short answer is it depends. People can always contest a will. <laughs> always, right? Um, so whether it's documented or not, people are going to contest if they want to contest. And that's just going to happen. Whether they'd be successful or not really depends on many factors about, um, about how it goes through the court and what claim they might have on that asset or that thing. So having a will is going to be in the favor of, no, this is how I want this, you know, this is how the estate is to be divided but it still leaves the door open for people to contest the will. And people do contest wills all the time. Mm. <sighs> messy, man, death is messy. So it helps to have things documented, just like with gifting. It helps if ever somebody is going to contest something that's written in the will or something that's been done. Mm -hmm. So if Michael decides to give away and gift everything he owns before he dies, um, and and whoever might be named in the well or whoever might be a beneficiary, whether he has a will or not, I might come back and say, no, 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 that's not your stuff. That's that's the estate stuff. And I get part of the estate. Um, having that documentation is really, really critical. And this is a big part of the work I do is talking to people about how do we make sure that our wishes can be followed with the least amount of resistance. And one of those things is document, document, document. And the other is discuss, discuss, discuss. You have to talk about it and you have to document those wishes. Okay, this is, this is great to know.